Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Lonely Mountains Downhill. It's not the kind of game that I'd normally go for, but it looks charming, and I think I saw, like, Northern Lion was pra praising this on Twitter. And, you know, sometimes it's nice to step out of the comfort, comfort zone a little bit and just kind of try weird new things. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess let's just get going as soon as back in. So, I've only got a couple of these Matterhorn, uh, selects. Alright, cool. Go. Quite, I don't know, no pressure. Beginner? Nope. No pressure. I don't have any of these. Let's see. Right trigger to accelerate. Okay. L uh, hmm. S stick in the direction you want to go. Uh... No, we want to do screen-based controls. Okay, restart checkpoint, sprint, accelerate, brake, steer, gotcha. Yeah, this should work. This looks fun. It reminds me of kind of the Trials games. But no, it's very far from that. What else was there? There's a, there's a couple of different games like this where you're generally biking down hills and there's tons of obstacles all over the place that you have to kind of worry about. Looks like this one is... Let's see. Can you not back up? Huh. That's interesting. I don't know, I was kind of expecting you to be able to, like, scoot backwards at least slightly. Oh, that's the first checkpoint. Uh-oh. Well, that was a mistake. Now, I could break, but breaking is for chumps and weird wuss people, and I am neither of those. Instead, I am a broken man. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a number of fatalities here. Yeah, I never really got into this, this variety of game. What was it? It wasn't Line Rider. It was Happy Wheels. Well, no. Okay, correction. I did get into this kind of game, but not in the way that you would expect. Um, so, I remember, like, back in the early days of YouTube, uh, people played, like, boatloads of Happy Wheels, and that was, like, one of the go-to games that made or broke channel. well, made channels. Like, some people straight up made careers off of it and still play those games to, to this day. You know, they play Trials and a bunch of other stuff, and I will, I will admit I watched my fair share of people... Uh, playing Trials... It wasn't Trials Fusion, it was it was Trials something, rather, uh, on YouTube, and it always looked so much... looked like so much fun. I never personally got around to playing it myself. Uh, you know, I did play a little bit of it. It was fun, but it was never as fun as everybody else made it look. Maybe I just didn't have the right friends for it. I was also kind of bad, so that kind of threw me off really hard. Uh, but... It's interesting that there's this kind of weird subgenre of just, like, obstacle course biking that has existed in the gaming space and has fairly dedicated fans? Whoops. Okay, can't do that. Can't do that either. Oh, let's see, I think we got it free on PS Plus at some point. Whoops! That didn't work. I thought we were looping around more, but I guess I have to wait before I get get the chance for that. Or if I ever get to customize my, uh, my biker. Probably not. But still. But yeah, I can absolutely see the appeal for this kind of game. Whoops. And we're good. We're kind of good. There's the checkpoint. Now let's all always sprint, yes? It seems like a good idea, but also a terrible idea, because I'm just going to fling myself off the mountain. The problem is you don't know where you're going, so you kind of have to react towards the... towards where the, the path is leading you, instead of... Hmm. What is... There's a couple of these. One of them I've actually been meaning to play for a while. We could actually just cycle through a bunch of weird, silly biking games for a bit and see which ones are good and which ones aren't. That'd not be a bad idea. Just for funsies. I don't know. There's, there's like a, a 
honestly an incountable number of indie games that I have on my to-do list and my my plate of games that are like, yeah, this would be this would be really fun to cover at some point. Wow, this character cannot handle a a drop. Kind of hoping I could manage to get around it. What was it? I don't even know. Yeah, the path looks optional. I'd agree, except for every time I try and go off the path too much, I die. Because unfortunately, hit to uh, fall too much, break your everything, and that's that's bad. That's super bad. It is really zen, though. And actually, quite a pretty game. Like, that glade we just went past looks quite nice. Oh, there was a completely alternate path over, over there that just fed out into this area. I thought it was going the right way, but it's kind of interesting that there's so many other potential paths. I just hope I can change my appearance. Because I look silly. All right. That worked out. Okay, so... Select mountain. Okay, so we did explorer. Okay, so three minutes or less gets me the cheat outfit. And 21 crashes or fewer gets me a new trail. Interesting. Huh. No, it doesn't look like there's too many alternate checkpoints. There might be one down the steep part of the mountain, but I don't really know. Add challenge. I'm going to do 21 crashes or fewer. I was kind of hoping it would just judge me based on those, and you just kind of free play it until you get all the requirements. Stuff like challenges seems like it's... It shouldn't be something that you turn on so much as just you... Uh, you just play and then fulfill them? I don't know. I always prefer checklist challenges as opposed to, like, stuff you enable. Because I find the stuff that you enable always feels... Well, it's like, I need to time trial this one. It's like, can I just, like, be judged based on how fast I, I went as opposed to... Uh, based on, like, you weren't fast enough. I mean, I guess it's fine either way. I just feel less pressure if I don't have that ticking clock. Even if I do have that ticking clock. This is stupid zen, though. Like, just the, the sounds of the, uh, the tires screeching against the, uh, the dirt. Like, that's such a... The word visceral, visceral is, is wrong. But it just puts you in this, like, zone. And I'll admit, it's a zone that I specifically can't normally reach myself. Because I actually really, really don't like biking that much. It's okay. I really like biking on rail trails. And... I like biking on rail trails and flat areas. Where you can just kind of bike for hours. <laughs> yeah, where you can just bike for hours and no one is the wiser. I guess if that makes sense. Uh, you don't... No, that's, that's that doesn't make sense at all. That is stupid phrasing. I'm tired. Uh, and, you know, I'm also kind of focused on what I'm doing. But, like, you can get tired, but it's more of kind of just a... You're tired because you went far, not because you had to go up any egregiously steep hills, or you had to deal... Well, that was a shortcut I could have taken. I don't think I'm going to get the three-minute thing. I'm doing fairly well, but... It's okay. And yeah, I'm definitely not using the sprint, but that also kind of doesn't matter to me. I don't know. 
Going fast is not my thing. It's for other people. I'm just here to kind of have a nice meditative experience and have fun. And that's usually how I, how I view biking or running or a lot of sports, really. I'd rather just exist as a... as a calm, slow-moving comfort object as opposed to anything else. We... Yeah, just over the three-minute mark. I could have made it if I went a little bit more. <sighs> Not that I really care too much. Anyway, uh, let's see how long... Wow, I've only been going for ten minutes. Not actually a big deal. Okay, so... Oh, so we've unlocked Wandering Woods. Yes, I don't care about the rest. Explorer and unlock challenges to... Okay, well... Is there just a super bike? Oh, massive suspension lets you ride the highest drops with confidence at the cost of speed and acceleration. I like these different bikes that they have. They're, they're cute looking. It doesn't seem like... Any of the bikes are specifically superior to others. <laughs> oh boy. I forget how to steer every single time. It's just, I don't know. I'm so used to these games where you have to press left and right to actually change how the, uh, you know, which direction the character is facing. That is very strange to, yeah, actually have it based on the camera orientation. But then again, I guess I'm used to these games letting me change the camera orientation. So it's kind of interesting to be in a position where, uh, where it is a fixed camera perspective. It certainly allows them to make some pretty nice vistas here. That I will absolutely appreciate. Whoops. And once again, I forgot how to steer. The moment I, like, catch any air. Whoa! Damn it. Double damn it. I'm gonna have some broken limbs by the time I'm done. It'd be interesting to have a competitive mode for this. Where you're racing against other players. I would kind of appreciate that. There aren't enough of those. Like, pseudo-competitive games where it's just kind of a time trial. Like... Most of the time when I play these games, they're they're very much of the... Whoever gets there first is... Eh, I don't know. This seems dangerous. Like, I could never get into Mario Kart, because it was always just too competitive for me. The other players could actually affect you, and it... Eh, no, I guess I got into Mario Kart. I, I did end up buying Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U back when it first came out. I thought it was cool. I was really hoping I could actually get some friends together to play that with me. Whoops. But I'm I'm weirdly shy about trying to contact new people. I, I guess I've had too many like bad experiences with trying to reach out to folks and being like, Hey, let's do something. And then it just like doesn't work. And usually it's not necessarily my fault, but it's kind of one of those where it's just like, I put forth like a whole bunch of extra effort. And whoop, no. Uh, I put forward, you know, the the lion's share of the effort and everybody else is just like, yeah, that was cool, bye. And I was like, no, I want to do like another one of those. And they're like, yeah, maybe. And then just, I'm left just holding the rope. Uh... But no, I, I got into Mario Kart 8 for a while, and I thought it was pretty good. I did not like the Mario Kart on the Wii. I thought that was kind of bad. The one that I really liked was actually Sonic Racing Transformed. It was competitive, but... It, oh, yeah, there's an alternate path there. 
I guess that's probably the secret to the the higher tier paths. Or there's just another path through a lot of these zones. But one thing is, like, I don't actually really enjoy... Ooh. Do I want to try? Two minutes, 30 seconds or less? I don't think I'm going to get that. Let's just unlock a new mountain. I'm not, I'm not going to be very fast. Yeah, I, I liked, uh, I like Sonic Racing Transformed quite a lot. I thought that, I thought that was actually a, a crazy good kart racer. I didn't play the new one because it didn't have flying or boating, which it probably didn't need. But there was just something about that that just made it less exciting for me. Oh. I don't think I can make that. That seems like you need the better shocks to get that one. That's one holy hell of a shortcut, though. If you can actually make it. I don't know. It's a bit of a shame that this character is as killable as they are. I mean, in that case, that's, that's a my bad. That's also a my bad. Those rocks suck. But whatever. Eh. I am not doing great, but that's okay. This isn't the kind of game that I'm generally going to play that much. It's just kind of one of those where it's like, well, it key landed in my lap, and I'm here to just try something new. And the answer is, it's not my flavor, but it's fun. And I can see this being the kind of game that would really appeal to someone that, yeah, likes time trial racing, or I'm gonna say, like, constant self-improvement, which is weird, because I'm actually pretty big on that when it comes to a lot of gaming, and I have noticed that, like, I am actually vastly better at a lot of games than I was, you know, two years ago. And so it's kind of fun to be able to, uh... It's kind of fun to be able to, like, not track my progress, but track my skills. My problem is just, like, I don't like redoing the same thing. Uh, that's why I'm big on roguelikes. Oh, wow, that's... That's a bit of a rough send back, but whatever. Uh, that's why I like roguelikes, because they tend to be procedurally generated. Weirdly enough, I think I would really enjoy a roguelike version of this, where the mountain is slightly procedurally generated all the time and yeah you might pick up like randomized power-ups and stuff not that that would matter too much i just like weird dumb cheese combo abilities and stuff and i, I could pick up like super tires that made this biker just fly or i don't know have a triple jump i think i would be way more into into it i guess i'm i'm also big on just like over the top stuff And there's something really charming about the simplicity of this, but at the same time, uh, I like exploring and seeing new worlds and whoop, balls. Part of the reason why you'll never see me like play Call of Duty, for example. I just can never get into it. Like, I, I tried playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I think it was. That was the one with uh, press F to pay respects. Which, someday I'd actually like to sit down and, and play that on camera. Just to see how goofy that moment was. I don't know. I'm big on sci-fi. Always have been.
Had I been a little faster? Just like three seconds faster, I actually would have been able to get the next mountain. Nice. Oh well. Today was the F5. Uh, the anniversary of F5 to pay respects. That is hilarious. I like seeing new worlds and balls. Yeah, alien balls? 100%. Weird, weird elven balls? Sure. Magic space balls? All right. Robot balls? Yep. Regular, boring, modern human balls? Nah. They're scraggly and shit. Huh. Okay, now I'm thinking about this, and this is bad. This is this is not a good place for my mind to wander while I'm playing a game that has nothing to do with any of this. What this game reminds me of. It's like the downhill version of a short hike. Damn it. Which is kind of a false. A tree root is a problem. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? No, I, I'm just thinking of, like, fantasy anatomy and whatnot. And it's bad. I, I don't know. Whenever whenever you're, like, uh, dealing with fantasy races, elves are always, like, the beautiful, pristine kind. I'm just thinking, like, elven balls are probably still kind of gross looking. There's no way. There's no way they're going to escape it. It, it just... It makes me giggle a little bit, and I'm gonna have- Like, this is gonna ruin fantasy movies for me for a while. Anything, like, Lord of the Rings related, you can have all these, like, perfect elves parading around, and then, you know, Elrond's- Elrond's on the scene, and I'm just, like, sitting there chuckling about, like, Yep. He's got nuts in there. And they probably don't look good. <laughs> Merman balls. Ugh. What the- Uh, both my monitors just went black. That's weird. <laughs> Restarting the checkpoint looks hilarious. Oh boy. And Aragon it says that elves don't have hair. Uh you mean body hair or just hair hair? Because, like, I mean, I'd, I'd applaud the commitment if the elves were just, like, totally hairless. But chances are they at least had hair. Yeah, body and the parts. The question is, do they have nose hair? Do they have armpit hair? Or do elves have serious problems chafing? Because I, I, I'm, su I'm suddenly imagining just, like, all of the extra hoops, like, certain fantasy elves would have to go through to be, like quote-unquote, pristine and perfect and whatnot. I, I'm sure, like, they just don't have to... Well, that sucks. Uh, I'm sure they just don't have to deal with these things, but the idea of it is hilarious. And do they have eyebrows or eyelashes? Well, if World of Warcraft's taught me anything, they have egregious eyebrows. Like, I, I like me some, some night elves. I, I think their design is pretty good. But their eyebrows are just downright silly, and their facial hair usually sucks. I'm not sure why I didn't make that one, but that's okay. It is kind of hard to line up some of those jumps. I wonder if there's a... Uh I wonder if there's a mode for this that actually has you going... There is the checkpoint. A uh, mode for this that actually has you going uphill. Because that would almost be equally interesting. Uh, Lonely Mountain Uphill. 
You know, that would actually be a really fun uh, DLC for... Th that would be a really fun DLC for this. Which is just specifically... Go back up the mountain. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try going off the beaten path for a bit. This looks like an interesting side route. Assuming I can make it through it, it's a little bit more dangerous. Oh, wait. I know where that is. Wow, that is, that is one hell of a shortcut. Out of my way, birds. I got biking to do. Damn it. But you, you skip a considerable amount of uh, trail by going on this little shortcut here. Assuming you can survive it. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a blind jump. Blind turn? Because the camera doesn't really, like, work with it. But it is, it is cool seeing how many different paths reconverge that I, I never would have even thought of. That is just super zen. It's super freaking zen. That would be an interesting list of games to put together at some point. Just like... A massive catch-all list of games that are maybe frustrating, but for the most part, just really zen. Bleh. How's that a sprint? I guess I could have just stopped for a bit. But oh well. We just, we know what's coming. I just have to be ready for it this time. It'd be interesting to see, like, a Taskbot run of this game. Just, like, true perfect wild bike nonsense. I can't imagine that would happen, but, like, I've seen, uh... I've seen Celeste... Yep. Uh, Celeste speedruns that are just, like, absolutely off the walls nuts. Shit. And, like, I know those take, like, an insane amount of time and effort and whatnot. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta see if there's any other particularly good tool-assisted speedruns out there that are worth watching. Because I, I will watch, like, every single Celeste one, because they're awesome. I've seen a couple of interesting, like, Final Fantasy stuff. But otherwise, I kind of just, like, check out on the genre. I don't know, maybe I just don't know where to look. Half the time, the problem is you're just, like, no-clipping so hard through everything that it's like, what's the point? But that's okay. Anyway, this is a cool game. I don't think I'm ever going to play more of it, but it's a cool game. And yes, you're right, there is customization. I can change bike paint jobs, and I can also change rider. Oh, there's full face at the very least. Male and female, and skin colors. But where's my green skin? Hair. Not in ponytails, side pigtails, hair color. There's, okay, there's the pink, perfect. This man. Will never bike, but he looks cool. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Just a neat little game. And very, very pretty. Like, I'm such a sucker for textured, low-poly graphics. It doesn't work so much for the character for me, but I absolutely adored all of the mountains and all of the all of the environments they were biking down through. Like, that, that looked really cool. And I really love it when people use this style. I don't know. Anyway... I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next uh, random indie game that I play, because boy, I have a lot of them. I have too many of them. But this is a fun little side jaunt.